Okay folks, I've decided to do a gaming video tonight and over the last few days there's been a lot um, going around about um, the newest game from, from software, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And one of the questions that goes around, as usually does when From Software come up with a new game, is should these games have an easy mode? Now, I'm actually going to defend the lack of an easy mode in this game, even though I completely suck ass at these sort of games. I've got Dark Souls 3 on the PC and I've got Bloodborne on the PS4. And I really enjoy playing Bloodborne, but I completely suck at it. I, I can barely get far in the story. I don't think I've even left like the first... Um, I think it goes like f the story takes place for a whole a whole night and then it finishes in the morning. I can't even get to like midnight in it. But that said, it's still a fun game to play, but it takes a lot of like resilience and you know determination to keep going at, at this sort of game. And not everyone's got that. And it's the same with Sekiro. I'm hearing from some people that this game is actually harder than Souls and Bloodborne. Which is quite interesting. It looks like it has by far the best setting. A Japanese setting, a sort of like samurai ninja style setting. Looks like the sort of game that I'd enjoy. And um, From the gameplay it looks really fun. And I do intend to pick this up at some point. But I probably won't get very far. That's maybe why I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. <laughs> because I'm probably going to suck at it. But I definitely want to give it a bash. But for people that are wanting an easy mode. Some games have an easy mode of course. And like you can see... Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I've got in the background, I played it mostly on hard. I like to try games on hard, but I'm not against going down to to easier if it's like a story based game and I want to just like plow through the story. Uh, I switched it down to normal on Assassin's Creed Odyssey just because the the enemies are damage sponges and it's just very repetitive and there's not like a great deal of enemies that would come at you with different tactics and you'd have to adapt. So. Yeah, I'll play it on normal on that one. Um, one example I'll give before I like finish um, about the secure one, about the Souls part, is that um, and I played The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for the first time. I tried it on hard, found it very difficult, put it down to normal. I still struggled. But um, once I was getting into it, I decided to play it on easy just because I was like getting sucked into the story. And it ended up being like my favourite game ever playing, and I played it on like the lowest difficulty. And then by the time I'd finished the game and was like level 31 or 32, I decided to see, see how much my skills had improved because I was better at dodging and parrying attacks. So I went on to, on to hard mode and found that, you know, that I was actually not doing too bad. My second playthrough, I play on Death March, the hardest one. And every battle, like, just feels, it just feels more satisfying defeating, like, the Griffin in the first battle. And then I had another Griffin battle later on in the story where I was six levels under and I used all my potions, I ate all the, the food and drinks that you can regenerate your health with and this had this griffin had a skull above it which means I shouldn't have been taking it on. Instant death. It took over 30 minutes to do this. It's just like a standard Witcher contract in the game. Anyone that, that's played The Witcher 3 will know, know what I'm talking about. It, I'm, I'm sure it even like pushed upwards 40 minutes. It was oh, it was so satisfying, so intense, and you know, being on the edge of my seat. T -t that battle was probably the most fun I've ever had in a game. And I, if I leveled up, like to the actual level for that, it, it would not have been been anywhere near as satisfying. It's probably like the equivalent, you know, for me, like playing. <laughs> playing a Souls game or something. I'm not very good at Souls games, but I mastered The Witcher 3 to the point where like Death March is the only way to, to play it. Now, you get a lot of people that are game journalists, of course, <laughs> surprise, surprise, that are thinking it's a bit disrespectful to to um, have a lack of an easy mode to gamers. Now, the truth is, like, it's some people like to push this argument that it's only for like an elite set of players that can play games like Sekiro and Dark Souls and other, you know, from software games. The truth is anyone can buy it. You've got the money, you can buy it. That's fine. You don't you're not excluded from playing it. But not everyone is going to have the resilience or the patience to go ahead and do it. Like if I really applied myself to it, I could probably finish Bloodborne off, but I'd need to like stop playing anything else and just try and be more determined. I'm the sort of gamer that can die 10 times and it's like well that's enough I'll maybe come back another time and by another time it could be months away it's like really good games but I don't have a problem with these games being designed to be very difficult 
that's one of the, the things that makes From Software what they are. And all their games have the single difficulty setting and it's always very hard. And you get those, you get certain gamers that are just become so good at it that they can, they can like um, kill the hardest bosses without taking damage, and it's not a problem for them. They can like they do multiple playthroughs with different builds, and that's absolutely fine. And I don't see any reason why we should be <clears throat> having to like beg to from software to try and get them to put an easy mode in just because you know people who maybe want to play just for the story. I mean, I can understand. I'm. I've done that myself. I've lowered the difficulty if I've enjoyed the story, but felt that I was struggling in the game. But from software games are that's what makes them what they are. They are designed to be punishingly difficult. And honestly, if you think <clears throat> if it's too hard, just keep just put down Red Dead Redemption Two, put put down Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Doom or whatever other games you play, and just focus on that. And you probably will get it eventually. Even I could. I mean, I hope to <clears throat> one day. And, finish Bloodborne or, <coughs> excuse me, maybe even get halfway through Bloodborne, that would probably be it, It'd be, it's kind of like next goal's a winner mentality, <laughs> that would be it for me, but no, it's um, it's not disrespectful to gamers to make games difficult, that's the thing, Game, games of anything are getting easier nowadays, and to be fair to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it is harder, mainly because of the damage sponges, if you select a harder difficulty, but if you play games like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, that you, you literally press the block button quickly followed by the attack button for a quick counter kill. It's it's a piece of cake. <laughs> so no, I don't I don't think um, there's any obligation from 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 software to implement any easy modes in 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 Serico or or any other games to bring out in the future. Um, if they do choose to do it, I mean it's not the end of the world. But um, there's just something like about killing a boss in one of these games that was brilliant. When I first killed the cleric beast, well, the only time I've killed the cleric beast, should I be precise, in Bloodborne, after God knows how many attempts, we're probably pushing 50 odd attempts. I'm not, I'm not even joking, but that feeling of satisfaction just for that moment, it's, it's a lot better than just like, you know, getting past a boss fight just for the sake of, you know, getting get to the next part of the story, which was the sort of game where I used to be. I used to see boss fights as like a burden and I just wanted to do the, the you know, the platforming part of games or what have you. So yeah, um, to be fair though, if you if you've I've showed you earlier the the Forbes um, clip from where the guy said it was disrespectful, but another journalist on Forbes actually says no, it doesn't need an easy mode. So at least Forbes have had the decency to you know have both sides. But um, yeah, a lot of um, game journalists they didn't like it. Um, when when Dark Souls Three had um, no like um, easy mode or medium mode either, and <laughs> they predictably got a lot of stick for that. But that's just the way it is. It's from software. I mean, that's what you get. It's hard games. Everyone that buys it knows what they're getting into. And there'll be a, a select few people who can absolutely ace these games. There'll be some that will have to like really dig deep to get past them. And then there'll be others, presumably like myself, that probably aren't good enough. And I'll pick it up and whether I'll complete it, I don't know. I mean, I hear it's it's a bit different from your average Souls game. So who knows? I'm, it might be my sort of combat, you know, having to parry. I prefer games... Where you can actually parry attacks to games where you just have to dodge and like time things. So who knows? I mean, I hope to pick it up at some point. It looks really good and it looks really unforgiving, and that's what kind of is what what's the allure to it. If you can like beat that sort of game, then that f that feeling would just be absolutely brilliant. So you know, just to summarise, um, if you if you're not good at this game or any games like Sekiro, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, or any game, even The Witcher Three, even Pac Man, if you're not good enough get good. I mean, that sounds cruel, but that's just the way it is. And yeah, that's that's about it. So if, you, if you're interested in, in this sort of um, content, let me know what you think in the, the comments below. Do you think there should be an easy mode for these sort of games? Um, do you think, or do you think um, From Software should insist on keeping games punishingly difficult so that only the elite gamers can overcome them? Leave your comments in the description, uh, below the description, sorry, and I'll see you next time.